Hello, yeah. hello, hello. Welcome to the Anything Bowl. Happy anything Cinco goes. de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Let's get started with uh, the fall guy. What was the budget? Rebel, 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 rebel. 80. 80? 80. 125 million dollars. It was very much just a practical centered film. Yeah. So that kind of That me makes off. no fucking sense to me. That's got to be like salaries or something. Well, well no, because you saw what they did. Think about it. The amount of cars, the amount of explosions That's and whatever. You true. have all these yeah. doubles and triples. Like They showed it in the show. That you're mm-hmm. like, we only have those two cars. Yeah. Movie of this budget and everything, he probably doesn't have just two of those cars. There's like ten. Like eight. Yeah. yeah. What about the opening weekend? Opening weekend. Well, based on the fact that we saw it in a fucking empty theater on, on a, a Thursday. Thursday night, I'm going to go with probably 30. <laughs> yeah, 28. You're pretty close. Every website I've looked at, but this one specifically Variety, says a uh, box office, the fall guy kicks off the summer movie season. Did it? It's like the first weekend in May. Yeah. Are we off to that already? Because I'm not ready. I'm, I'm ready. not ready to go to like two movies every week. I'm ready. We got Planet of the Apes next week. After Fuck that, yes, we monkey have... movie. I heard it's really fucking good Did too. You? Yes. Uh, Look, as for Rotten Tomatoes, certified fresh at an 83, audience of an 87. I would give it even higher than that. I would say. I would say it's fucking perfect. I would no. say, <laughs> it's it, if I had to give it a Rotten Tomato score, I'd say it's about a 90. This year for movies has been horrifically obnoxious. Like there's weeks where we haven't been able to see anything. There's been weeks that we've been excited for and the movie sucks. There's been movies that suck and we knew they were going to suck and they still went under our expectations. Yes. This, when they first started their uh, their press run, I was a little worried because it looked super cool from the first trailer and the way they use the music and whatever. And then they started the press run. IGN's like, I give it a fucking five because it's it's a mess. Or like comicbook.com will yeah. be like two and a half stars, man. Couldn't figure out the plot. I go in there. I'm like, Couldn't dude, figure out the plot. Something like that. I'm just quoting no, no, what they I'm sound just, like I'm to just me. Mad at them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this was like. It's a ton of fun. It was a great movie. It's completely was, carried by star power I and chemistry. I was so excited for this. The mm. first trailer I saw, I saw it immediately. And went, <coughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this movie. This is a movie made for me. I'm going to have fun. Kabooms? And they, fire? Yeah, and they started coming out with all this stuff in the press release stores, mm-hmm. and I actually watched all of that shit. Why? Because I was that interested. Uh, okay. I was hyped for this movie. Okay. This is the first thing I've seen in a while where I went in knowing... I'm going to love it. Mm. And it made me love it so much. Right off the bat, I just want to throw this out there. I thought it was my favorite movie of the year before I remembered that Dune 2 came out this year. Yeah, Dune 2 is still um, holding that crown for but me. But this is I a, can this guarantee is close. that this will be in my top five at the yeah. end of the year. Ryan Gosling is just continuously knocking it out of the park with whatever he's doing. Yeah, I didn't realize how much I liked him until I saw yeah, The Nice Guys. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh. I remember. We saw that in theaters. Yeah. Good movie. It's a phenomenal movie. And I'm like, he's great at comedy. He's mm-hmm. amazing. I mean, I saw The Notebook when I was a kid, but like I was five. But I that's, didn't, that's, I, that wasn't Like for The me. Notebook versus. Yeah. That, completely different. Um, what was he? Remember the Titans or whatever he was into? He had like a small part. Was he? In one of those football movies. I really feel like um, I remember watching like Nice Guys and then uh, Nightcrawler, and then I he's blinked. A Nightcrawler? Yeah, I didn't see that. He's the main guy in Nightcrawler. I thought that was Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> These are two different people. Wow, racist. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I feel like I didn't see him any, in anything. And then I blinked. Probably because you're in, watching Jake Gyllenhaal That's probably, movies. yeah. Now you've got me seriously kids, like wondering. You're talking about like Drive or whatever it is where he's in a car the whole fucking time? No, Nightcrawler where he's, he's the... Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes. Yes. Didn't see the movie, but I know it's Jake Gyllenhaal. It's a great movie. Where does he come into this? I was going to say, I, I didn't... <laughs> I, I forgot he existed until Spider-Man Far From Home. Also Jake Gyllenhaal. Is it really? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> One of them is blonde. One of them's not. This is not real hair. This is not really his hair. No, no, he ble- but he is naturally like blonder. Like he's not bright blonde, but he's like dirty blonde. Like probably my hair may be a little bit darker. The Fall Guy. Fall Guy. Who Great was movie. It? Emily Blunt, Ryan Gosling. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Great movie. Yes. The chemistry is still my favorite part. It's Emily Blunt. Electric. I I haven't watched a movie with her in it that I haven't enjoyed her specifically. Like the movie around it can be really? shit. Really? What about Oppenheimer? Fucking loved her in Oppenheimer. She was there. She, she was didn't there. get enough screen time because it wasn't about her. It was about fucking. But she was Killian. She was fucking whatever. Florence Pugh Murphy. It wasn't about Robert Downey Jr. either. But definitely he was not. But he won an Oscar. Exactly. So what matters? <laughs> Did she also win an Oscar for that? I don't fucking no. I wasn't Sorry. paying attention. <laughs> but this she was great. This she was <laughs> she great. Was phenomenal. Between the two of them, <laughs> is that her real voice? She's British. That's her normal. Yeah. That's how she speaks. That's See, how she says goodnight to John Krasinski every day. Forgot they're married too. They are. There's a lot I'm learning today. <laughs> And then, uh, no, the, the only memory I have of her prior to Oppenheimer is uh, <laughs> Mary Poppins Returns that I dragged you to go see. Yeah. Great movie. I Sounds nothing. I locked it out of my mind. I don't remember it <laughs> at all. I remember the it? dude who wrote Hamilton in it, and that's it. Yeah. But this movie. <laughs> she was great. She was. I, 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 I like their chemistry a lot. Dirk, they were made. They, yes. It's been a while since I've seen a movie where it kind of happened. To be Make fair, a spicy I'm not going margarita. out watching rom-coms and stuff like no. that. Is also, that what this is? Yeah, it was an action rom-com. Well, so I saw the director talk about it and yeah. everything. 
a lot of action. It's a love story to like action, not yeah. action movies, but like stuntmen and whatever it is. I'm going to combine what he said and I'm going to combine my own thoughts a little mm. bit here. Uh, in my own words, it's a bit more like almost like a fairy tale in a way. Bear with me. I didn't he see any wings, that, but that, that, <laughs> it's a lot of falling. I saw him fly a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Exactly. Um, the twist endings, the evil fairy <clears throat> godmother, come on. Um, oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So, um. So it's all these action movies, John Wick and stuff like that, which yeah. he was the, the director of this, was the fight coordinator for that mm -hmm. on The Matrix and everything really worked well with Keanu. Yeah. He had Bullet Train before this. All those are very action-centric action films. Yes. Where the driving plot is murder people. Yeah. Um, in this, Brass knuckles. His driving plot is her, mm -hmm. and the action is along the way. And he said it's been a while since we've really had movies like that. Yeah. But it is kind of like that uh, fairy tale thing, like I said, where yeah. he's on a journey to... He's not saving her, but he... She... It's a race for them to get back together. Yes. And the universe is just trying to separate them. But in between them getting in, it's it's kind of like, it's like an onion, right? It's got layers. At the, yes. At yes. the core, it's a love story. It's a rom-com about two people who are like together and they separate and then they find a way back together yeah. and make up. Uh, this, the outer layer, the outer shells, yeah. is a murder mystery, weird fairy godmother fairy tale yeah. with Aaron Taylor Johnson, who did not get enough screen time. Well, because he wasn't the main character. He wasn't. He was but the I would like him more. In their world, but not in ours. That's fair. And until I, Jason Momoa he was comes in, such a douchebag. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you know what? It was great. It was perfect. He's a great actor. He is a great actor. He, he was just not given enough. Great stuff. in Bullet Train, which is the same director. Can't like wait for I Craven said. the Hunter. Craven the Hunter, the vegan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just... That's the title. Craven the Hunter: colon, The Vegan. <laughs> I, I'm not looking forward to that movie. I'm no, really not. nobody is. That's why they keep no. fucking delaying yeah. it. Yeah. Um. But uh, it's just too late. You can't write it off. But I love Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah. Um. Which. You know what? Can we just get a movie where he's sisters, uh, brother and sister with uh, Anya Taylor Joy, but don't change their names? Just like the last name is that a Joy? One of they're both Johnson or whatever, just because they have those fucking compound name. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot, and they Taylor sound very, Johnson, yeah, Taylor, Taylor Joy. Joy. Oh, it's just Taylor. Taylor Taylor. <laughs> it's just a middle name. I'm just yeah. being an ass. <laughs> Like they got such long, complicated names with the these motherfuckers. I can't they believe they just share them. the middle name. <laughs> but it's also the first name sounds familiar too. Oh, it's the so same syllable. The movie. Never mind. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> just think it out loud. My brain's everywhere. There's caffeine in this. This well, is another instance where I have so little to say because I enjoyed it so much. I have so and much I to say. I don't want to nitpick it. But my brain is so many places. I'm not gonna yes. nitpick it. I'm no. just gonna keep talking about what I like. It's so good. Um, his hair. Cool. His hair. Okay. Great hair. So this was it thing? a wig? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and I might have a lot of guys on the internet coming after me right now, but this movie maybe dethroned Ryan Reynolds for me as, like, top guy for, like, guy who Your man other crush? guys want to be. Not really man crush, but, like, guys want to be him kind of guy. Like, I could agree. Like, the charismaticness, mm -hmm. the coolness, the fucking... He shows, like... Actual emotion instead of just being like, I'm just here. I'm, I'm just super. He's I'm like, make jokes he's showing emotion. He's showing just to like, you know, hide this yeah. stuff. And he's sitting there crying to Taylor Swift on the car. He's showing emotion, fan, but he's you know? also like super jacked while he's doing it. Yeah. He's like massaging his back and he's like, <laughs> just broken, just whatever. But then the camera like pans out and they're like, look at his abs yeah. and he's crying. <laughs> look at my long hair. <laughs> but he, he also. Bone with that long hair. He also does like the super, like, young guy thing. Where he goes to a job that he hates, yeah. and he sits there, and he puts on glasses, and they're like, we need you to do this. He goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey. He's like, you know what? I'm going to quit this fucking job. What am I going to do? Am I going to quit and just leave? But that wasn't his attitude. No. His attitude was, <clears throat> That's the vibe I was getting. Life, except he was lying to himself yes. really fucking He was much. actually just clinically depressed and clinically didn't want to talk to anybody. depressed and growing out his hair and his facial hair like a bum. <laughs> That's right. And he wasn't doing anything. No. So, Still huge. But also, he, right, the biggest plot point in this is the fall yes, guy. Yes, guy. And basically, the stunt is is they're in a skyscraper. He goes all the way up to the top, and he's yeah. cabled, right? And spoiler alert, duh. We, we never have a spoiler-free conversation. Not at all. And it basically, he falls, and it turns out that Aaron Taylor Johnson, the douchebag, had, like, fucked with whatever. Yeah. Falls, smacks onto the floor. Yes. Dead. Yeah. Not a chance. No, of, very dead. It's not a chance that, like, 18 months later, he's like, look at me, super jacked, perfectly fine, just got to massage my back every yeah. now and then. So, not a got Like, spine, skull. Yeah, yeah that, that was, like, 20 stories. He yeah. just, like... Casually. But having said that, th that that was my only <laughs> slight issue with this, yeah. just because as as a movie where they very much advertise it as, oh, this is what it's like to be a stunt guy. Mm. This is what's going on behind this, and it's yeah. whatever, and let's make it very real. Didn't there, feel like that. There were a lot of things that were not correct. Mm. 
Um, and I understand that it's for a movie's sake and whatever. Like, they light him on fire, like, nine times. Yeah. You get lit on fire, you get covered head to toe in this fucking gelatin. non-flammable gelatin yeah. and whatever. He's sitting there, coat on, no gel, hair perfect, lights they go, on <laughs> fire, head to toe, and he's just like, I'm fine. Pull, smack, start yeah. again. Well, I really like that scene a lot, though. Is uh, when they did the one where the car rolled eight times. I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. No one's going in the car. That's not <clears> real. <throat> Watch the behind the scenes. It was real. 100%. They had a yeah. guy in the car. Everything that broke a world record. Is it, oh, because of the, the flips. <laughs> For the tumbles. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so I, I was wrong on that one. Like, you, you proved <laughs> See, it. See, one of the things I heard about this movie from the one podcast that I listened to, The Weekly Planet. Again, mm-hmm. have to plug them because eventually, like, the, you know, the tags will yeah. connect the audiences. Uh is they, they talked about how the action scenes, I didn't believe that some of them were real because they were touched up with CG, yes. whether it was color or whatever. I completely fucking felt that. So many of these scenes, it would it would do like him jumping off of the uh, the boat or jumping onto the boat, right, in the ending. Yeah. Because of the way that the shot jumped, and I guess just because of the uh, like the brightness at night, mm-hmm. to me it felt like, oh, okay, so they did one shot of some guy just jumping off of a thing and then they like put a CG paste of like a dude falling. And then they cut to another scene of him like getting up, and he's like, "Ah, ah, I'm here, I made it." You the but I'm sure that was real. completely real of him just going. They probably did a clean plate of the stunt double yeah. doing a boat jump, diving out of the boat. Then you do another plate of just um, the real explosion. So technically, everything's practical, but then you comp it together in post. Yes. Um, Too much touching up. I didn't have a problem with a lot of it. The one thing that I did think that looked fake again mm. was the dumpster on the highway, which again. Oh, real. Dumpster on the highway? Yeah, when they're fighting and he's surfing with the shovel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real. They had him do that. He was on wires. Was it Ryan Gosling? Yeah. Uh, what? Ryan Gosling was on there doing a lot of that. Not, not the whole sequence, yeah. but he, he... But a ton of it. There's a video of him on the fucking thing getting dragged <laughs> along when he's on wires. The, uh, the director did say that they did add, like, post-CG, like, a couple yeah, of extra course. sparks. of Some little things. But there were sparks happening and everything, so yeah. a lot of it was... So a lot real. of it was actually the practical. and everything. Like... Well, a, a lot of that just feels that it's not... It's special because, effects, but it's yes. not CG. But it, it's it's... It's my only gripe with the movie is okay. that parts of it feel like it's too touched up, but I don't think it has anything to do with them. I think it's just the climate of movies that we're in right now well, where they feel like everything needs to be touched up. I think like, it's the color palette a little bit too. It's probably, a very yeah. pastel it's kind very of color palette vibrant with explosions too. and stuff. Like you see it online. Mm. I mean, not, a, not online. Behind, um, <laughs> in the movie, like you're technically behind the scenes. He's driving down the beach. You see all the explosions. Yeah. It's not a regular explosion. You can see there's red dust <clears> in them, yeah. whatever, adding color to it. So mm. there's a lot of that that they're kind of going for. Um... But I, I just, I really want to get back to Ryan Gosling in this movie because he's just... He's so good. He's got so much fucking charisma. He's having the time of his life. He did great. He did a lot of those fight scenes. Mm. He did a lot. I mean, obviously, he had, I think, like four stunt doubles on this movie doing yeah. a whole bunch of different things. But, like, just seeing him do a lot of that, doing all these things, that the hilarity of just being a stunt guy and using those practical things, like... Mm. I'm going to go hit, get hit by a car. <laughs> Better put in my mouth guard <laughs> so I don't get a fucking concussion. I'm like, that's great. And then him trying yeah. to talk to people and like, I can't talk, I talk right now because I got a mouth guard. In my and they're like, what? He's like, I can't do this right now. And oh, you're like, right. When he's on drugs. I think that's my oh, favorite scene drugs. in the movie. The drugs is, were is, great. He unicorn. accidentally gets drugged and there's just unicorns everywhere he looks. And that's the tell of like knowing that you're still on yeah. the drugs. So he goes up to this car to talk to these guys. He's got the mouth guard and he's like, where's your five people? Where's, where are your people? And they're like, what? And it's just where are them? Where are they? It's just frustration, yeah. and I could feel it. Yeah, I like. He feels like a real person, and that's I don't know if that's I because love. behind the the camera, it's it's you have to get to a point of overacting. Yes. So that way it comes through. No, but it, it it's just great. It fe- exactly. But I'm saying like to get through the camera, if you have to overact, so that way some of it gets lost in mm. translation, or is it just he's that good and he feels like a person? To where I'm like, yeah, you know, that's a real dude. He, whatever I he's think doing it's right the now, the realness of what he's doing mm-hmm. and the fact that it takes a toll on a person. Yeah, and a lot of that. he's so also reacting said, like how we would react. Yes, exactly. <laughs> just fuck me, man. Okay. Um. So, and one of my favorite moments is I want to bring it back to when he's doing his job at the car, um, like yeah. ballet, and he's like, <sighs> okay. He mm. has another moment like that when he's on the drugs, when he has to go chase the guy. I'm like, he's moving mm. really good yeah. for a guy on drugs right now. But then when he sees the guy in the distance and he knows he has to run, he takes a moment as a high guy and just goes. Okay. okay, and then just fucking, and you see him kind of lock in and go, I don't want to do this, but I got to go. But I know I need to go. Okay, come on. <laughs> and and he, the unicorn's just like. <laughs> yeah, and he just locks in. It's those small moments <laughs> yeah. that really make him relatable. It brings you, it brings everything to ground level. 